This many? That is not true. There are plenty of good shows on TV. Yeah, you never binged before? Well, yeah, but last time I binged, I was in the studio with Rick making Super Freak. <laughs> no, man, I'm talking about binge watching TV shows. I mean, you can stream just about anything now. Well, that's the problem, Kenny. They got too many channels. Back in my day, they only had a few. It was them three big ones and Static. <laughs> Smitty, Static isn't a station. It's when the cable signal just... <laughs> Never mind. Look, all I'm saying is I miss the good old days of television. Whatever happened to the classic shows like Martin? Hey, 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 you yeah. know what? Definitely. Martin was definitely a classic, yes. but uh, I personally like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air better. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that, was right. that was that good. That was good. Of course you would like that show, Kenny, because you don't have a proper understanding of a successful black love relationship like Martin and Gene. Oh, come on, last time I checked, I'm in a black love relationship, so I completely understand. Just that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was just more realistic in my opinion. Kenny, 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 Kenny. Switching from dark skin Aunt Viv to light skin Aunt Viv without a ass kicking <laughs> was not realistic. Right, right. And, and Martin delivering a baby without the father was? Oh, really? Well, you delivered a baby without a father. That's how you got here. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 All right, oh, stop, oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, oh, I mean, okay. I'm just trying to tell the truth. That was cool. Personally, I'm partial to the Parkers and Moesha, but... <laughs> What you so excited about, Kenny? I just got a text that America's Got Skills is gonna be in town and I wanna audition for the show. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. what's your skill gonna be? Uh, cutting the judge's hair? <laughs> for your information, man, I plan to show off my impeccable rap skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No uh, offense, uh, Kenny, but we've been down this road before and it didn't quite work out so well. So how are you going to impress the judges? Look, that was then. This is now, Jay. Look, I plan to go in there and spit straight fire on them. I wouldn't do that if I was you, Kenny. Last time I tried to spit fire, I ended up in the hospital for three weeks. Well, who knew fire breathing was such a dangerous sport? No, no. I'm not talking about fire breathing, man. I'm talking about my rap lyrics, man. Well, if your lyrics are as hot as your feet, you're going to blow up. Listen, son, I'm going to be rooting for you all the way, man. Hey, thanks, Jay. Okay. You know what? Maybe you can uh, be my manager. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think we should keep business and family separate. But we work together. Yeah, my point exactly. <laughs> hey, that's messed up, Jay. But look, man, the show can give me a lot of exposure. Plus, if I win, I get to rack up a cash prize of a million dollars. What? Oh, man, I wish I had a skill. I'd, I'd be auditioning with you. Well, shoot, you might not have a skill, but I do. I'm going to audition for that show. Wait, wait, you going to audition too? Oh, yeah, I got a skill that's going to blow the judges away. Talking about your deadly silent farts? <laughs> well, not just those, Kenny. I'm also an opera singer. Smitty, you ain't no damn opera singer. Oh, contraire, my friend. I just haven't had a chance to show off my spectacular voice. But since we're all here... Shebella Nostra Inaten Sole Nadia Serena Where'd I go? I must have got my tables mixed up. Uh, this is what you ordered, right? Nope. This, this. Um, Mabel? Yes. Yeah, I'm in kind of a rush, and I've been sitting here for over an hour, and I still haven't received my food. I am so sorry, baby, for the inconvenience. It's just that I'm so understaffed in my kitchen today. I promise it will be out any moment. Well, can I at least get the water that I asked for 30 minutes ago? Sure. I saw that! So what? You just gave me somebody else's water! That's unsanitary. No, what's unsanitary is you coming out that bathroom without washing your hands. You think I don't videotape everything that go on in here? The sign says employees must wash hands! 
Can I have a to-go order of some of your smoked deer ankle croquettes, please? Uh, you sure can, Percy, if you put on an apron and make it yourself. The recipe's in the kitchen and the third drawer on the right. Oh, Mabel. You look like you need some help. Let me help you out. <laughs> what is it? My soup is scalding hot. Really? Hmm. Let me see. Mm. You're right. <laughs> ah, they didn't call me soup cooler lips in junior eyes or nothing. I try that. Look, Mabel, uh, I am extremely appalled by the lackluster service in this restaurant. What's that supposed to mean? Well, in the amount of time that I've been here, you've already served seven incorrect orders, insulted four customers, and had to perform the Heimlich maneuver on a man who choked on your seared armadillo cankles. Not to mention, you have a Mike Tyson special. You don't like my barbecue pigeon wings? They are knockout. People come from all over to take a bite out of that. I'm sorry, Mabel, but I have no choice but to write you a negative review. Fine, write your negative review. You ain't the first corny ass critic to come in here and try to destroy this place. And you know what? You can quote me on that. Mabel, you can't just talk to him any type of way. That is the Felix, the fool critic. He's not just some ordinary fool critic. That man will write one bad review on you and have this place cleared out quicker than one of my caffeine colonics. I don't care who he is. He ain't better special. And Sam. Looks like my corny ass just prevented you from getting any new customers. <laughs> I don't care. Let me tell you, I don't have to talk to him. My customers are loyal. I don't have to worry about some old food critic. What? Oh, 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 oh this, that's what y'all doing? That's what y'all doing today. Maybe uh, I'll be right back. Oh, you gonna do it too? Okay. Yeah, all right. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, to. Mm. Yo, man. <laughs> hey! I, uh, I just came back to lock up. Are you, you almost done? Uh, yeah, I was just sweeping up the shop. You Yo, know? man, I, I didn't know you could sing like that. You, you are a natural, man. Oh, well, you know, it's one of my many talents. Uh, listen, have you ever thought about signing up for America's Got Skills contest? You know, Jay, I don't know about those competition shows. They don't really have the best track record in my are opinion. Are you kidding? Uh, uh, Carrie Underwood, uh, Jennifer Hudson, uh, Fantasia, mm. they're all huge successes. Mm, but what happened to the rest of them? They broke. Uh, solid point. All right. <laughs> but listen, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With a voice like yours, you are destined for success. Oh, you know, my grandmama always said I was destined for success. Smart lady, smart lady. Oh. Yeah. And if I managed you, well, you could make me, uh, us, <laughs> a lot of money. Hmm, I don't know, Jay. I mean, have you ever even managed anybody before? Oh, my boy, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I, I represented a lot of different artists who went on to do great things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you ever hear of a little artist called uh, Justin Timberlake? Wait, you used to manage Justin? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, just one of his backup singers, Marcus. <laughs> uh, he's since moved to Houston, and I think he's an exotic dancer or something. Uh, but but that's, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, if you went on America's Got Skills, mm -hmm. I could make you a star. A star? A star? A star with two arms? Yes, you see that? You know what, Jay? Why not? Let's do it. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, let's um, let's talk about my compensation. Um, your copy who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if I'm gonna manage you, I, I gotta get paid. I, uh, how does uh thirty percent sound? Ten percent. Okay, uh, twenty percent. Ten. Oh, just <laughs> ten. Ten. Ten is good. <laughs> I'm gonna make some money. We, uh, we gonna make some money. If I win this show and become a Grammy Award winning rapper, I'm gonna thank my mama, girlfriend, maybe Jay. <laughs> if I win, I, I, I mean, if Percy wins, I'm gonna buy Cheryl and I a huge yacht and, and a Cape Cod in the Hamptons. <laughs> If I win, I'm gonna take the world by storm and go on a critically acclaimed Lord Half Percy tour. If I win, I'm gonna buy me a Swiffer. I always wanted one of those so I can clean off the dust mites from my windowsill. Oh wait, I have a million dollars so I can buy more than just a Swiffer. Ooh, I know what I buy. 
I buy a time machine so I can go back and impregnate Kenny's mother. I always wanted a son, and I know I'd be a way better father than Jay. Yeah. Right this way. Don't 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 mark no points off, please. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I got some fire right now, so I hope y'all ready. Okay, here we go. Mm. I see them everywhere, fresh up out the beauty chair. Don't matter if you be there or off and stare. Now look at here, looking like a movie star. Don't know who you really are, but your car got you looking way above the law. And you're not a soul, not a serenadopana. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. But now I'm found. I don't remember the rest of the words. I look good though, right? Oh, yeah. And then they told me that my face resembled the bust of a Greek god. <laughs> what the hell? Man? Yeah. Oh, oh, what happened to all your customers? Felix, the food critic, took all my customers. See, I told you, Mabel, all you had to do was apologize and all this could have been avoided. All I did was call him corny. Shoot, I call Jake corny all the time. Well, that's a fact. You know, he is pretty corny. Uh, okay, hey, I'm right here. Sorry, Jake. <laughs> Mabel, look, if you even want him to consider taking that review down, you're going to have to talk to him. I already did. Uh, then why does this place look emptier than Coachella in the wintertime? Well, he called me and said that if I wanted to get back in uh, his good graces, that I'd have to do some kind of payola, like the mob did back what? in the day. And you know what I told him? I told him, ha, 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 no! Uh, uh, payola? I, that's, that's bribery, Mabel. I mean, it's illegal, especially nowadays. Yeah, if we have evidence of him propositioning you for money, we can make his career fall Chip. faster than a fake butt in a strip club. There you go. Okay. How am I supposed to catch him in the act? Well, I do have an idea, but it requires you wearing a wire. Oh, I'm fine with that. And I know exactly where to put it. Right between these two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> TMI, TMI. Man, I cannot wait for the call back, because I know I killed my audition. <laughs> well, if you killed yours, I serial killed mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, listen, uh, Percy and I decided we are going to be the next artist-producer sensation. You know, kind of like Quincy and Michael, uh, Dr. Dre and Eminem, uh, Suge and, uh, and Tupac. Well, you know what? I can definitely see you as a shorter, less intimidating version of Suge, and maybe Percy as a gay Tupac. <laughs> Hey, fellas, guess who made it to the next round of callbacks? That little East Indian boy that could hula hoop and twerk at the same time? <laughs> no, Smitty, me! Oh, hey. Yeah. Way to go, son! Thanks, Dad. <laughs> See, Percy, I told you, competition shows aren't so bad after all, mm -hmm. especially when you have the potential to win the whole thing. The whole thing! The whole the whole thing. thing. Well, apparently I got the potential too. What? I just got a text saying that I'm moving on to the next round. Wow, wow Smitty, listen, I, I am sorry I ever underestimated your, your singing skills. I never knew that about you. Oh, that's all right, Jay. I realize there's a lot of things you don't know about me. Like that I was an opera singer, that I grew up on an alpaca farm till I was 12, and that your ninth grade girlfriend, Cross-Eyed Crystal, was secretly in love with me. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Yeah, she was. No, she wasn't. She, she told me I was a fine gentleman, because I told her to look both ways before she crossed the street, even though she already was. Hey, man, it looks like the results are in for me, too, man. All right. I, I didn't ah. make it. Oh, hell no, man. Hey, this show is rigged. I mean, you kill me with this stuff, man. So, Felix, how did you like the Al Greens? If you want, it can come with a side of grits. Well, it was decent. Not really up to the caliber of a great review, but 
I'm sure we can negotiate something. Oh, hmm, I see. So when you say negotiate something, exactly what does that entail? Uh, you paying me to write a good review, duh. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you didn't think I'd just retract my original statements that easy, did you? I, I thought an apology would be good enough. <laughs> oh, don't be so naive, Mabel. You've been in this business since before I was born. You know the game, big homie. You don't just get everything that you want for free, as Debbie Allen once said. You want fame? Well, fame costs. Well, in the words of Percy, you busted like a Dateline interview, brother. Now, you better sit your $5 ass down before I make change. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? I'm filming. Stop filming me. Oh, you are in big trouble, Felix, because Percy here caught everything you said about the bribery and the fake reviews. Oh, and by the way, say hi to all 1.2 million of your fans on the gram because you on live, brother. Wait, okay, okay, you know what? I'm really, really sorry. Can you please just stop recording me? <gasps> You're gonna ruin my image! Oh, your image is not the only thing that's about to be ruined. You are in for a big surprise. Big surprise. Yes, indeed. In three, two, one. What do you mean? Ooh. Oh, cankles. Ooh. Ooh. That. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Chowder. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You ain't gonna use them underwear again, uh. baby. <laughs> Gee, Percy, you sure you ain't from Oakland? Ooh, I might be, girl. Thank you. Uh, uh, what did you put in that man's food? Oh, just a little ingredient I picked up on the west side that oh. I don't normally cook with. Mm. And I also made sure I put my foot in it. Ooh, your foot? Literally. Ooh, with that nasty big toe? Yes. Ooh, girl. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's celebrate, my brother. Brown juice. In the car. <laughs> Well, Mabel, I know you're happy to have all your customers back. Yes, indeed. And we must have really scared that dude off here past that person. Because <laughs> after he left, oh, baby, he wrote a dope-ass review on Mabel's tape. Well, you deserve it. Well, the food is great, and I love this new dish. Oh, well, thank you, Smitty. I think I'm going to call it the Felix Special. A whole chicken and... Tiny little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, at least he was able to get her revenge and make light of the situation. I mean, I'm still holding the grudge against AGS for not recognizing my talent. But it, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna go to Soundstorm route like Chance. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> Fat Chance. <laughs> hey, anyway, listen, maybe you could open for Percy, you know, in his concert. <laughs> yeah, once he wins the whole competition. <laughs> hey, I'm still in the running. Percy ain't the only singing sensation here. <laughs> I'm sorry to bust your little bubble, Smitty, but uh, opera singers don't usually make it that far in these type of competitions, just in case you don't move on. Oh, well, looks like I did. Oh. Hollywood, here I go. <laughs> wow. Well, if you moved on, then I know that I must have, okay? <laughs> Dear Percy, yeah. everybody cut uh, your pearl, okay? <laughs> we regret to Whoa. inform you that you will not be moving on to the televised what? audition, <laughs> but... But they said that my face looked like a Greek god. Oh, oh. I feel you, Percy. This is I feel you. What about my money? Your money? Yeah, I meant your money. You managing Percy over me? Yeah, uh, well, you're my son, you know. And, uh, but, you know, with nepotism and, and everything, I, it was a little difficult for right, me. Right, okay. You know, I remember that next time she'll put you out and you want to crash at my house. I just can't believe this. No, I ain't never gonna get to sing with Sir Elton or Cher, y'all. I knew I should have came up with a better sob story. Like I had a six toe, or that I was forced into being a stripper, or that I had just met my deadbeat daddy at the age of 30 in a barbershop in the hood. What? It would have worked. In that case, I might just offer my services to Smitty. Uh, Smitty, you, you need a manager? Nope. Huh? I'll be fine riding solo, Jay. Besides, I don't want you hanging around getting all jealous when I start dating cross-eyed Crystal. Well, it's Crystal now. Wait, she's not cross-eyed anymore? Apparently not. I just ran across her not too long ago. We were sitting crisscross applesauce at a yoga class. And that's when I noticed her eyes had been corrected. It's too bad, though. I liked her way better when she thought I had two heads. <laughs> What in the Barnum and Bailey circus is this? Well, Jay, I want you to meet my new friends. Belly dancing Belinda, sword swallowing Sean, 
Miles the Mime, and Buff Ass Biddy. Buff Ass Biddy can lift up to 600 pounds. Oh. Biddy can snap my neck with his pinky. Are they all from the show? Well, Belly Dancing Belinda and Sore Swallowing Sean and Miles the Mime are, but I hired Buff Ass Biddy to be my personal bodyguard. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, he's, a, he's, he's pretty huge. <laughs> Did you need somebody that size? No, oh, 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 yeah. I, 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 I meant that as a, a compliment. That was a good thing, yeah. Huge, yeah. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> you know, people always look at me like I'm this big, scary guy, and all I want to do is be your friend. All right. Yeah. <laughs> See, told you he was a good guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's cutting, cutting off my circulation. Can't, can't breathe.